So today we're going to tie a caddis pattern that looks like this. It's got a gray dubbed body, um, some crystal flash under the wing, it's got a white deer hair wing, and then it's wrapped with a finer deer hair acting as sort of a pseudo hackle. And then we finish it off with a, a lavender sparkly head and the, the head will push everything back um, so everything's leaning back looking like, looking real caddis like uh, so this is the fly we're going to tie today it's uh, very much an attractor pattern um, good for fast water and, and hunger trout small ones um, but the, the trout in my streams like this one a lot so we'll go ahead and we'll start with our size 12 uh, 3x long hook here. Uh, you could tie it bigger, smaller, um, doesn't matter. Whatever the caddis look like. We'll do a white thread today. And we'll start wrapping. Wrapping, wrapping. Cut our tag. Um, dubbing. So we'll do a gray dubbing. And then we'll add just a little bit of brown. You could do olive, but so we'll just we'll do gray with a little bit of brown. And that'll give me the color I want here. That looks good. And then we'll just do an easy, simple rope. No need to wax your manly parts. Just rope it up. Rope it up. Rope a dope. Alright. Let's tighten up that rope. Tighten up that rope. Tighten up that rope. Good to go. And work it forward. Work it slowly back and finish up. All right, so that's our body. Um, we have some some stragglers. Now I'll just cut those. And now is better time than any to cut, trim those off. Okay, so we'll do our under. Our under, we're just going to do a little, little bit of crystal flash here. Uh, right. Someone's honking their horns. That's okay. We'll put this in. white deer hair sometimes I tie it with a chartreuse which is pretty cool easy to see white is also very easy to see uh, but it, it I'm, I'm coming to the conclusion that the wing color really doesn't matter for the cherry trout <laughs> they are none too bright uh, when it comes to fly selection as long as it's it's riding high uh, they don't seem to mind. Alright, so here's our hair. We'll work out some of the 
the trash I like to use this nice uh, I think this is a hotel toothbrush um, but it's got the perfect bristle strength to clean it out nicely uh, so and then we will stack stack tips look good We'll measure it out. I think we'll want the wing about that length right there. So we'll have to cut about right there. I'm going to cut off camera. Alright, deer hair is cut. Since our thread is pretty flat, uh, spinning it is not a terrible idea. It'll help create a more rope-like uh, effect. We'll place our deer hair, and this is all about control. You want nice controlled wraps. Tighten down. Deer hair wants to sit on top. You want it to sit on top. You don't want it to spin. This is not the situation room. No spin. And. few more real tight real tight real tight 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 like your best friend all right that's good so we got our flashy and our deer hair and we're looking okay you could trim out uh, these ends if you wanted to but we don't have that's fine. Uh, the next part will be this uh, finer deer hair. Whoa, Nelly. Um, and this is like a Campara done, uh, but it's very fine. Doesn't float well at all, uh, but it'll create some surface area and it's got good color. Uh, and you can spin it like a hackle. So we'll just we'll take out a clump. That's good. We'll cut that out. And then we'll take our clip here. Take our clip. This is a regular grocery store clip. Uh, we're gonna clip in our clump of hair. And then we're gonna want to disperse it, feather it out on our clip. Yep, satisfied. Um, you're going to take a second clip and trap your tips and remove. Go ahead and get your hotel toothbrush and then just gently. Ooh, that took out a lot. That's okay. Gently stroke out those, those fibers. And, and trim that up. All right. Um, we want to split our thread, so we'll take our bodkin. We'll find a good point here, and we'll split our thread. Oh, it's good. Let a little bit more out. We'll take the deer hair we prepped. We'll place it inside the thread. Trap it down. More toward the tips. Favor, favor the tips. And gently, gently release it. To tighten it up, we'll spin our bodkin. Bobbin. Not bodkin. We'll spin our bobbin. And spin and we'll do it again spin 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 and run it back and last time spin spin spin
spin, 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 spin. All right, that looks good. Uh, we'll preen just like you would a soft tackle, just so you don't trap the fibers. Getting them going one way is much easier for you. So we'll go ahead and preen them. Not doing a very good job here of preening. That's okay. All right. Um, we're gonna wrap. We're gonna we're start. We want to start our wraps under, uh, even under our flashy bits. Um, so we'll we'll come up, and then just as we're about to hit pay dirt, we'll wrap around. And we'll do one more, that's good. Now we'll work everything back and we'll wrap forward, work it back, wrap forward, work it back, wrap forward, and once again. Okay, So we got a lot of hair on there. And got enough space. We're gonna put a little head. We'll take a little bit of that that lavender uh, crystal laser shiny dubbing and we'll make a, just a small row. But this will help hold everything like a headband, caddis headband. Um, it'll help hold the material back. Do just the scotch more. You could mess around with the colors too. That's no problem. Okay. Let that spin out and clear. Let's go ahead and finish it out. We can half hitch this because we are cool. off some of this hair and so we'll just start snipping away here um, bottom first and then work your sides work your sides Sides, work your sides. That's pretty good, actually. So, here's that bottom view, looks really nice. Good profile, that's all that really matters. And then, um, from up top, we'll be able to see it well because of the white. It's got good shape. I think it'll be good fly. Okay, that, that should do it.